there. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my December favorites and I actually had not planned to do a December favorites video. Instead, I was just gonna do my favorites of 2013 and share with you all the products that have kind of been life-changing me for me this year and new to me. But then when I started looking over the things that I've purchased in the last month, I found some things that I did really want to share. Um, these are things I'm not going to include in my overall favorites of 2013. Doesn't mean that I don't love them, but I just maybe haven't been using them long enough to really make that determination. So, but I did want to share them because I think there's some really nice things in this bunch. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have a couple of new hair care favorites this month, and this is the L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care Color Vibrancy Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. And they look like this. This is a new line from L'Oreal, a re relatively new line. I saw this at my local Target, and I liked it. I liked the idea of it. They smelled really nice, and I thought, well, not. I don't need them right now, but next time I run out of shampoo and conditioner, I'm gonna come back and get these. And then in the meantime, I saw a video from Crystal at Miss Crystal Makeup, and she was talking about that she had picked these up. I don't remember if it was this exact formula, the color vibrancy, but she had picked up a couple of items from this particular line, and she really liked them. So, um, and then about that same time, I found some coupons in my local paper for, I think it was like $2 off a L'Oreal item. So I ended up getting these for $1.50 each. They were normally about $3.99, so about $4 at Target. So they ended up being $1.50 each, which was a really good price. So I thought for that price, I really wanna try these now. So I went ahead and got them and I am so glad that I did. I am not someone that really is a big believer that shampoo makes a big difference. Sometimes conditioners, yes, but shampoos, as long as they clean my hair, that's all that I'm really concerned with. And I want something that's not gonna weigh my hair down. It's already fine and thin enough, and I really don't want anything that's gonna create like a heavy layer on it or you know have any heaviness to it that's gonna pull down my style and make it any harder to get volume out of. So I got the color vibrancy version as opposed to like, I think they had a moisturizing formula. And I love this so much. The shampoo does a really good job. I feel like it gets my hair really clean. It doesn't leave any kind of film on the hair whatsoever. But the part I think that's really surprised me and impressed me has been the conditioner. This does such a good job of really conditioning my hair, making it very soft without it feeling, again, heavy or it has any sort of coating or film on it or anything like that. I feel like I get a little bit of like fluffiness and volume out of my hair that I normally wouldn't get with a really good conditioner. This also makes my hair really easy to comb through and my hair is so hard to comb through when it's wet. And I find that this has enough thickness to it that it really does a good job of detangling, but then it's not so heavy that it creates that heaviness to my hair. So I'm still getting a lot of nice softness and volume without that heaviness, which to me is a really hard combination to find. And even at full price, I think $4 for each of these is still not a bad price and I've really been enjoying them. Definitely will repurchase this. So I thank you to Crystal for kind of pushing me along and encouraging me to go ahead and pick these up because I really do like them. And then also another item from L'Oreal that I picked up, I had run out of my dry shampoo. I had been using the Dove version of it. Originally my first dry shampoo was the Suave version, which I didn't think was all that great. I replaced it with the Dove version, which I thought was okay. I was never really in love with it, but it seemed to do good enough. But I always felt like the Dove sort of put a texture on my hair, but not or like a really good texture. I didn't feel like it helped give me volume or styling help. It just kind of made it feel strange and icky. So I decided to go ahead and pick up this L'Oreal new Everstyle Energizing Dry Shampoo. And I think I got this at the same time that I got the new shampoo and conditioner. This stuff has been amazing. I really, really like it. I have started using this now every single day in my hair. What I do is I go ahead and shampoo with the L'Oreal shampoo and conditioner. I dry my hair thoroughly, and then I've been spraying this at my roots all over to kind of get a little bit of extra volume out of my hair. And then I find that the next day my hair isn't nearly as oily or greasy when I wake up. It's like it, it sort of helped absorb any of the oils that I normally would have accumulated overnight. And this has such a nice smell to it. It's probably a little bit more on the perfumey side of things rather than being like fruity. But I really, really enjoy it. I enjoy the smell of this more than any other dry shampoo that I've used. It's a very light texture. 
Um, to be honest with you, I can't really feel anything when I put it on my hair, so it's not giving me like a lot of extra grip when I'm styling, but I do feel that again, it's kind of helping me with a little bit of sort of like fluffiness and stuff in my hair that I don't normally have. And that's a technical term, fluffiness. So um, anyway, so on to other things. I was also sort of browsing the soap aisle as I often do when I don't need to at Target. And I came across this Caress Sheer Twilight Black Orchid and Juniper Body Wash. I think this smells so great. It's been like a really nice winter fragrance. It's a very deep, rich, warm fragrance. Um, like it says, it has black orchid and juniper in it. It's um very sort of heavily fragranced. It's like a perfumey, but also maybe a little musky. Um, this is not for you if you don't like a heavy fragrance. This is definitely on the stronger side. To me, it's something I prefer to use more at nighttime. I do think this would compete with a perfume if you wore it during or used it during the day and then wore a fragrance with it. But at nighttime, when I take a bath, I've really been enjoying using that this winter. It just feels like a nice, warm, rich fragrance. So really been enjoying that. And then as you probably know, I picked up the Naked 3 palette. I've done some videos and reviews and things like that on it. And I mentioned in that review that I felt like I liked it, but it really wasn't a complete palette on its own. So I have been using some colors from this palette in conjunction with other shadows that I already have. And I found one that I really, really like a lot. And it is Mugshot, which is this color down here on the end. And this is just a really nice sort of um, silvery, purpley type of taupe. It looks like this. I feel like it looks a lot better on the lid than it does in the palette or even just swatched. I think it's a really beautiful taupe color. I like it on its own um, with just like a nice little transition color and a brow highlight. I've been putting this all over the lid and up into the crease. I've been wearing this quite a bit lately. I think I've been reaching for this almost every day because I really like it. It is what I'm wearing today. It goes with a lot of different things. So um, while I do find some of the other shadows in the palette a little bit disappointing, this is one that I keep reaching for over and over again. So um, while it may not be worth it for you to purchase the whole palette for one eyeshadow, uh, because I do like several of them, I really, really have been enjoying this palette a lot this month. And then another sort of old favorite that I had that for some reason I hadn't been using a lot lately, but I kind of rediscovered it in my stash and I've been using it a lot, especially with the looks from this palette, is the Chanel Blush. And this is in Rose Ecrin or Ecrin. I'm not really sure the right way to pronounce that. I'm sure it's wrong no matter what way I say it. But this is just like a nice neutral pink blush. It doesn't give off a whole lot of pigmentation on its own. Let me swatch this next to the... Um, but it does provide like a nice sort of natural rosiness to the cheek. And I often wear this when I don't know what else to wear. Like if I'm wearing an eye look that I can't find like a definite cheek color that I want to pair with it or a lip look. This is so neutral. I think it's kind of flattering with everything. So that is there. Again, it's sort of hard to show. I'm having some lighting and camera issues, which might be glaringly obvious to you today, but um, so hopefully those will show up for you. So that's the mugshot uh, eyeshadow right there from the Naked 3 palette, and then that's the Chanel Rosa Karen brush blush right there. And so finally, the last product that I have for my December favorites is a Zoya nail polish, and this is in Zoya Lauren. I had seen this several times, let me show you here on the side. I had seen this several times when I was at Ulta and I kept passing by it and thinking, well, I don't need another nail polish. I don't need it, I don't need it. And then finally it went in there. I think it was with the 20% off coupon that they had. And this one by itself was still there. It's always been just this one. And it's like it was waiting for me. It's just a really pretty, it's not exactly a rose gold. It's a little bit more, pink, I think, but it has a really beautiful pearl to it. It's actually what I'm wearing today. I just love it. I just think it's a really beautiful way to do a neutral. So you're getting sort of that neutral pinky beige color, but then you're also getting a little bit of something extra with it with the pearl. I think it may have it's almost like a little iridescent pearl to it, I think, is what it is. But it's just in such a soft, subtle way that I think it's still really sophisticated and pretty. So you kind of get like that 
classic sophisticated neutral look that I want but then with a little something extra with a very slight pearl shimmer to it so that's something that I really enjoy I always like colors like that so that's it those are all of my December favorites be on the lookout for my 2013 favorites which I'll be filming very soon I'll get that one up this week as well provided my camera continues to work I can't guarantee that at this point so anyway I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon bye-bye